the um, airplane, nice size plane was coming in and it was like, it may have been about no more than three feet above the Navy annex when it was coming across from there. It was looking like it was coming over here for the buildings where we are over here. Okay, so that's it was right it was on facing. top of the Navy It was annex. on top of the Navy annex. And it looked like it was headed towards... It looked like it was headed towards this cemetery. way. It appeared that it was coming right for us, actually. It says this was coming across from across the building. That's it was the about, Navy annex, right? This is the Navy annex. Uh-huh. And as it was coming across, uh-huh. it dropped down a little bit. Towards you. But angled. Okay. As it was dropping down yeah. more. Yeah. And then it started angling. Once again, take notice to the detail with which this right bank is described. A significant bank in this manner is irreconcilable with the NTSB data, Pentagon security video, and all physical damage. As it was angling, you see where the, um, where the uh, street sign is in the middle of the street. It's like great from this side, but it shows you like directions how to hit 95 or the Pentagon. Oh, yeah, the overpass see that side. overpass yeah, sign? Right, yeah. So as it was coming across that area, uh-huh. it was on in between from where the gas station is, but uh-huh. more over this way more. Uh-huh. In between from where the gas station is, but uh-huh. more over this way more. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. As I felt it came along in this area, mm-hmm. and then it started to go more this way. So it's banking. Yes. And as it looked from there, like it's heading here, but then it started to back in. And part of the wing of that was like over in this area. But this was a direction that came straight through that little road along there. Mm-hmm. And it started pivoting up. Donald Carter, Arlington Cemetery employee. Independent interview recorded June 6, 2008. So at the time, you know, all of a sudden we seen a plane far as over the overhead, over the um, naval annex, coming from over. So actually, you know, we spotted him. Then he, the, the plane actually veered off, sort of like he swerved off, and then he caught, you know, got got on track. Wobbling, right? Like, you know, I guess by his descending, he was straightening. Would you say it was more on on the north side of the gas station over here or the south side on it the far more, other end? It was more on this side. On the north side? Right on this side. Okay. More on this side. On the north side? Right on this side. Okay. Just the overhead of the neighbor. He sort of come over. And you guys were right over here? Yeah, we was right over here. He sort of came over, came like this center, and then he kind of veered over. Then he went on around like that. Our biggest thing here is trying to figure out exactly where that plane flew. Right. And you guys got a really good look at it being right here. Yes. I yeah, mean, I was looking. Man. So, I mean, some people say that it was it was far over on the other side of the, of the sicko. No. What do you have to say about that? Well, they must didn't see it. This is a hypothetical reconstruction of their statements animated from their point of view. Coming from on top of the Navy Annex in their direction, and then banking right headed towards the Pentagon. Unlike the witnesses at the gas station, the witnesses at Arlington Cemetery had a clear view of the plane approaching from the Navy Annex, and were able to give detailed descriptions of this significant right bank. This relatively slow right bank is an extremely important detail because the officially required southern approach flight path is perfectly straight and cannot have banked right at all at this point. The Arlington National Cemetery workers do not describe a perfectly straight southern approach as seen here and required by the physical damage and official data. Although all of these witnesses believe that the aircraft hit the building, their unanimously corroborated placement of the plane is in direct contradiction with the required south side approach. All of these witnesses work in the area every day, and as mentioned, many of them are on record with the Center for Military History placing the plane in the same place only weeks after the event. Yet some have argued that they are all mistaken, or even lying regarding this, but are accurate regarding the alleged impact of the plane, which was much further away and obscured by trees. Furthermore, these witnesses described how they were running away from the scene for their lives, and were therefore not paying attention to what the plane did after it passed them, 
which explains why they believed it hit the building and did not see it flying away. Nobody was really trying to look to see if it actually was going to hit the building or not hit the building. So everybody was running in the opposite direction for their lives. Vantage point number five from the Pentagon heliport tower. Sean Boger, Heliport Air Traffic Controller. Center for Military History official interview NEIT 299, recorded November 14, 2001. Independent interview recorded November 1, 2007. And um, I just happened to be looking out the window. And as I was looking out the window, I could just feel a plane. And it was, actually, it was actually like three minutes later, so the plane was coming directly at us. And uh, when I saw it, you know, I was just in amazement. So I just. But well, I just looked at it, and he, you know, I fell to the ground, and I covered my head. Let me ask you, how how long or how many seconds would you say that you saw the plane for? Before we hit? Yeah. Uh, maybe about, maybe like, uh, I'd say between 8 and eight and 15 seconds. 10 to 15 seconds before impact. Oh, okay, so it was kind of slow. It was slow, yeah. I'd say 13 seconds. Uh, as an aviator flying 500 knots, he wasn't flying 500 knots. The NTSB reported the plane's speed at this point at 460 knots, which equals 530 miles per hour, or 781 feet per second. At that airspeed, it would only take a mere 3.4 seconds to travel from the Navy Annex to the Pentagon, in direct contrast to the approximately 10 seconds reported by aviation professionals Sean Boger and Terry Marin, as well as by William Middleton all who were in strategic positions to be able to tell this detail with accuracy. Where in relation to the Navy Annex what was the plane? Did it come uh, when to I saw the airplane, he was, uh, he was practically in front of the Navy Annex. Okay. And so he was, coming, he was coming like at an angle, you know, his, his uh, wings were tilted, so it was almost like he was in a, like, trying to bank towards the, uh, towards the uh, Pentagon building. So you would say he was kind of almost turning towards the Pentagon? Yeah. Okay. Once again, the significant right bank is corroborated by a key witness, even though this important detail is a fatal anomaly when compared to the official data and physical evidence. You could, you could see the gas station from there, correct, the Sitco? Yes. Okay. Would you say, which side of the gas station would you say the plane was on as it approached? Would you say it was on the left? As you're looking at the gas station, would it be more to the right, like the Arlington Cemetery side? Or would it have been on my right in the gas station left. If I'm looking out the window, if I'm looking towards the gas station, it'll be on my right hand side. If I'm looking out the window, if I'm looking towards the gas station, it'll be on my right hand side. Okay. So and if you and if you were at the gas station with your at like at the back of the store, with your back to the store facing the Pentagon, it would have been to the left of right. the gas station. Right. Okay. So it was closer to Arlington Cemetery rather than the highway Route twenty um, uh, twenty seven, right? Yeah. Okay. That that's yeah. That's exactly what we've been hearing from. So that yeah. It 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 would essentially would have had to have come over the Navy annex. Essentially, was it over the? Would you have guessed the middle of the Navy annex or more to the to your right or more to your left? I would say more to the right, also. Now describe the the tilt that you were talking about as it came or the the turn or as it as it was tilting. I guess to the bank, if you will, or whatever. Can you describe it to me at all in in any way? I was just saying like as like as he was coming towards me. It just seemed like he was tilting the aircraft to his right. It started to bank to the right. Okay. It was almost like, not really going in nose first, it's just like, almost like at an angle, like a right angle. Okay. So he, so he almost like he was off course and he was turning to straighten out. Right. Like all other witnesses in this critical area with the most relevant vantage points, Sean describes the plane as approaching from the Navy Annex and banking to the right as it passed on the north side of the gas station. Sean is an aviation professional whose job was to watch aircraft for a living, making him an extremely credible witness, particularly from his privileged vantage point in the heliport tower right next to the alleged impact. Although he reported the plane hit the building, his corroborated placement of the plane on the north side proves that it could not have and he does mention that he hit the deck and covered his head, as would be the natural reaction for anyone watching a plane head directly towards them. From five critical and opposing vantage points, 
13 eyewitnesses independently and unanimously confirm a north-side approach, fatal to 